Another new hour of insensitivity training for a politically correct world on a Friday morning, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, August the 25th, 2023. I'm Woody. That's raving. Good morning. There's uh, Greg Gore. Hi. Menace, good morning to you. Good morning, Woody. Uh, we got Seabass. Yeah, that's there. good morning. Yeah. Sammy. Good morning. Bort and Caroline are here. We got uh, Morgan, Vaughn, our video producer. Phones are open at 877-44-WOODY. You can uh, hit us up with a text. Send that over to 22987. Stop with me, my brother, my mom, oh, my pop, and yep. my little sister all in the car. Say the words, Greg. We headed Greg. downtown to the gallery mall. <laughs> my mom started bugging on the clothes we chose. She didn't say nothing. Uh, never nothing? I never watched an episode. She said, uh, what's wrong? My shirt was 20 dollars. said, Mom, the shirt is plaid with the butterfly collar. Uh, the next half hour was the same old thing. My mother buy me clothes in 1960. You know the words. I lost the mind and did the ultimate. I asked her for Adidas and she bought me zips. I said, Mom, what are you doing? You ruined my rep. She says, You're only 16. You ain't got a rep yet. I said, Mom, let's put these clothes back, please. She said, No. You go to school to learn, not for a fashion show. Nothing? Come on. Nothing? I, can go all day. I mean, it was great. Yeah, that was dude. good. You're uh, yeah, yeah. Your that was the original by Woody, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why I didn't freestyle. know the words. Uh, we got the DUIQ. Oh, freestyle. That's a song, my friend. Sarcasm. Sarcasm. Yeah, I, I don't have any freestyle abilities. I wish I did. That's so cool. Yeah, when I, I see people who can do that, I'm like, man, how yeah. do they? How does mind work like that? Because uh, they practice and they know certain yeah. rhymes that there's. Yeah, oh, they're used they've to read cool. the rhyming mm. dictionary. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Make it cool. Anyway, we got the uh, DUIQ <laughs> coming up. That's this morning's dumb ass contest. Also, uh, Friday fail stories ready to go for you this morning. Here on this Friday, as we work our way through the morning and into the weekend. What, Greg? You I know the here. lyrics to the fail song. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> well, you can uh, you can help me out with that one. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It is time for your Friday Fail Star. Yeah. All the people thought they had the perfect plan. The plan could never go wrong, but somewhere along the line, it went from being a great idea to one big stinking mega uber ultra. Fail. Nice. Feel like I didn't hold it very well. That's all right. I mean, babe, look, look, you were in there. I heard it. <laughs> you're, in that, you're in that mix, girl. <laughs> yeah, all good. Feel like it wasn't great. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, some more drama on airplanes to start this week's fail stories. Uh, this time, American Airlines flight from Miami to New York had to make an emergency landing after this woman on board mistook her pepper spray for hand oh, lotion. Yeah. Oh, oh no! <laughs> so uh, passengers started coughing. Their oh, eyes were God. burning. Couldn't see. The flight gets diverted to Jacksonville. Oh. Uh, when it sucks. landed, the paramedics, they were brought in. Everybody was eventually okay, but the uh, woman and her family escorted off the plane. Nobody seems to be able to answer how she got the pepper spray on the plane in the first place. Easily. Because you can have it in a checked bag, but it is not something you're allowed to bring on board with you, like on a carry-on. Yeah. So the FAA is investigating. And out. Fail. I'm sure it was the tiniest of containers. Yeah. You know, some yeah. of them are really small. Like one of them keychain mm-hmm. ones. Probably didn't even notice it. Yeah. And she gets banned for stupidity, right? From the airline? Oh, you no. would think. Hell no. No. She's on the next flight? Yeah. Now, there was some other report like, oh, she was uh, beefing with another passenger and she intentionally. She did it on like, purpose? Yeah. They're, but they're, they didn't confirm that. And so all they can go with is like, oh, I thought it was lotion. My lotion. Okay. Spirit anyway, this dude in California got a text to his work phone the other day. It was uh, from an unknown number. And the text said they had a gun and wanted to confront a group of people and was saying, hey, man, come meet me. With me. We'll go. Uh, We'll go to the spot, and you can help me out. Okay. Well, the person uh, who had texted the wrong number was a uh, a guy who, by mistake, I guess, texted a cop. Oh, no. Yeah. So it was a cop who got the text message. So he and the other cop buddies, they show up to the meetup spot and bust the guy nice. who had sent the text. They searched his car, and sure enough, they found a loaded Glock hey, what? along with some uh, drugs and some paraphernalia. He was arrested and taken to fail jail. What are the odds? Fail. Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you would think like you double check 
<laughs> like maybe if you're gonna send double like check, a like a nude check. pic, right, yeah. like before you go send a naked picture, like do you double check to make sure you have the right number? Got check. the yeah, right, exactly. Make sure it's not a group text. Yeah, exactly. Sending it to mom. <laughs> so this uh, new Vietnamese restaurant opened up in town, and they uh, tried to drum up some business by passing out some flyers. The problem was there was a, a pretty bad typo. The phone number it was wrong, and instead of getting the Hanoi house, you reached some random dude named Gary. Oh. Gary, hey, Gary, what's up, what's up Gary? <laughs> Didn't take long for Gare to figure out that something was wrong. He says he was flooded with calls from people wanting pork meatballs and fried noodles and prawn crackers. Yeah, I like to order. Um. And uh, the calls were coming in at all times of the day and night. Gary, he's got a newborn at home, so oh, it's making no. that more difficult, too. So he uh, let the, the restaurant know. They did apologize. They corrected the number on the flyers. But, uh, yeah, it made Gary's, <laughs> it made Gary's oh, life miserable there for a minute. It's me, Gary. <laughs> Yeah, bigger, successful flyers. Yeah, but some bigger news. Flyers work. I know. Yeah, yeah. got and flooded with calls. Well, when you hear this a new Vietnamese Did spot in town. Yeah, every flyer I've ever gotten has gone straight in the trash. Right. Same here. Yeah. Uh, some drama in Australia. Oh, oh, how's how's their pie? Pie? Over one thousand people lost power, and when the power company went to go see what happened, they saw that somebody had uh, go to went to hang like a, an advertisement mm-hmm. on one of the power poles, and they attached it in a way that damaged the eleven thousand volt cable that was attached to it. Uh, by the way, in Australia, attaching any kind of uh, sign to power poles is illegal, and it'll get you a six thousand dollar fine. So they're dealing with the company who put up the sign there, knocked out the power to everybody. Oh, okay. yeah. Failed. In Missouri, this thirty-seven-year-old guy, Brian Baker, he was driving near Lake of the Ozarks. Maybe was he drunk? You bet he was. Yes, he was. So it was his wife Ashley, who was in the car with him at the time. Anyway, they uh, they got to where they were going. Brian steps out of the truck, forgets to put it in park. His wife tried to hop into the driver's seat, and when she realized she couldn't stop the truck, Brian gets run over. Uh-oh. Oh. By his own truck. Oh, no. Oh, no. He, uh, he lived severely injured, but he lived. He and his wife both arrested for drunk driving. Oh, man. Damn. Talk about adding insult <laughs> to injury. Failed. <laughs> I, you know, you Oops. forget There's, to put it in park. Yeah. Sure, a very sure. popular clip online right now on TikTok on Instagram where a guy, he's like trying to ghost ride the whip. And he gets out of his truck, and it's just it's just going forward, and he's like dancing next to it, and then the truck just straight up runs him yeah. over. <laughs> Good. It's People pretty... still do that. Yeah, ghost riding, ghost riding the whip. Hell yeah, son. And Ravy doesn't. Yeah, yeah, son. He's like, Worth yeah, it. son. <laughs> my buddy uh, on the reg. My buddy, remember uh, my buddy Dead Air Dave? Yeah. yeah. Who uh, had that drinking problem and mm-hmm. read that book that we talked about? Alcohol lied to me. Right. Yeah. In the studio. Yeah, and you know we had him on, and mm-hmm. anyway, he's, he's still sober. Mm-hmm. Um, cool. But anyway, he was telling me how now the big thing, he sees it every day because he rides the subway to work. Mm-hmm. Every day he's seeing uh, people surfing the subway. On that's, top? It's a big problem in New York. Teens, yeah. No yeah. good teens. They get on top of the subway cars and they're like walking on top of the cars as the subway's moving. Oh, damn. Because there's Only parts where like go, it goes over the bridge into oh, Manhattan yeah, yeah. and different you know, parts. Wow. Of, yeah, I idiots. Mean, holy crap. Pretty cool. He said, yeah. there's a, he said there's a there's an article at least because he works at a news station, right? A New York uh, news radio mm-hmm. station, and there's at least one story a week about one of these idiots killing themselves because they fall off or surprise it's not hit more by than the train. Stupid, it? yeah, dumbass. And uh, finally, speaking of stupid people, this next one's about this really cool guy who took his girlfriend to the Kentucky State Fair, and not only did he bring his girl with him, he also brought his gun, cool, which was stuffed down his pants. And at some point, it slipped from his waist. And when he reached down to grab it, the gun fired, and the bullet went right into his girlfriend's Uh-oh. foot. Uh-oh. Ouch. She was taken to the hospital to get her new hole closed up. She's okay. And while that was happening, the cops, they arrested the dumbass boyfriend, took him to fail jail. He was uh, hit with a bunch of charges and has been banned from having any contact with his girlfriend. And <laughs> he's not allowed to go back to the fair. He's uh-huh. banned from the no fair. fair. Sale. Banned from the fair. Oh, That's the crap. Worst. Cannot go to the fair wow. anymore. Dang. What Worth it, dude. Yeah. yeah, you lost out. <laughs> well, those are your uh, Friday fail stories.